Hello again and welcome to the program where we we'll bring you weekly highlights of events in Nigeria's energy sector, focusing on the Nigerian national petroleum company, NNPC Limited. This is Energy and You. I'm Elgusa Higumbo. Tonight, we'll bring you a recap of significant events and achievements of the Nigerian national petroleum company, NNPC Limited, in the year 2023. We'll take you through some of the major policy decisions made and how they shaped the outcome year. Sit back and relax. Energy and you begins now. Thank you for staying with us. Now, let's begin the show with top energy stories and global crude oil prices for the week. Oil prices edged up early this week as traders watched for supply disruption risk in the Middle East, following strikes by U.S. and British forces to stop Houthi militia in Yemen from attacking ships in the Red Sea. Brent crude futures were up 13 cents to $78 for the two cents a barrel, after settling 1.1% higher over the weekend. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude was at $72.73 a barrel. That's up 5 cents, following a near 1% gain in the previous session. The benchmark jumped more than 2% last week to touch their highest intraday levels this year after U.S. and British forces launched attacks on airstrikes against Houthi forces in retaliation for months of attacks on Red Sea shipping that the Iran backfighters cast as a response to war in Gaza. In Libya, people protesting against perceived corruption have threatened to shut down two more oil and gas facilities after shutting down 300,000 barrels per day Sharara Field on January 7. And in the U.S., power and natural gas companies are preparing for extreme cold over the Martin Luther King holiday weekend that is expected to cause record gas demand while also cutting supplies by freezing wells. To demonstrate its commitment to its core values of integrity, excellence and sustainability, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited recently organized a retreat in Abuja for members of its senior management staff. The purpose was to deliberate on strategies aligning with the company's core objectives, ensuring energy security and optimizing profitability for the nation's economic prosperity in 2024 and beyond. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited conducted its 2024 management retreat with a theme, Getting It Done Sustainably. The interactive event was aimed at keeping management staff informed about the company's focus for 2024, fostering networking and outlining the way forward. The event saw the participation of key management staff. During its address, the Group Chief Executive Officer NNPC Limited Milikari stressed the importance of collective dedication to boosting profitability, streamlining operational costs, investing in skill development, and enhancing overall productivity to build trust with stakeholders. This journey is not for Milikari. Far from it. That we have a responsibility to ourselves first. So when you see things that should not be done, say no. Nothing will happen. Believe me, once you are doing the right thing, for the benefit of your company, nothing will happen. If anything happens, you will not feel bad. You will not be hurt. Deep inside you, you will say that I did the right thing. And it will not hurt you. And that's the, the value that is there. By making sure that we follow through what we are doing. We watch our projects, we watch our teams, we support them. So that it goes to the last man, that's why all of you are here. When you go back, remember, you have an array of young people below us. Also addressing the event, the Chief Strategy and Sustainability Officer, Mrs. Hawa Michelia, highlighted the retreat's primary focus, underscoring the company's unwavering commitment to crafting a sustainable business model to maximize value across the energy and non-energy domains. 
Now it's to, have, to secure our right to play in the industry, we have to ensure that we um, are able to run our businesses sustainably. So whichever part of the value uh, chain we're, segment of the value chain we're operating in, we have to ensure that we respect the environment, social and governance, the three Ps, uh, the people, planet, and profit. profit. So these are some of the uh, areas that definitely, whether we're in the core businesses or in our non-core uh, businesses, we have to find ways of demonstrating very clearly that we have signed up to this and our businesses have been structured in that manner. We'll be setting targets for everyone to ensure that we're able to measure this and um, ensure that uh, whenever we go for our funding or financing, um, um, future proofing basically is to make sure that the, uh, while we're running our businesses today, we're able to do so, but also not compromise the future generation's ability to uh, meet their own needs. So while we're meeting our needs today, we need to ensure that we protect the environment and we secure the um, prospects or possibilities of the future generations from The retreat served as a crucial platform for networking and relationship building among staff, fostering a collaborative environment and mutual understanding. The collective commitment to sustainability, profitability and ethical leadership propels the company towards an exciting and transformative future. The Nigerian oil and gas industry has witnessed a remarkable transformation in the last few years, the most notable of which was the signing of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, in 2021, and the subsequent transition of the NNPC into a limited liability company under the Company and Allied Matters Act Kama principles. Now, this trend continued into 2023. Here are highlights of some of the events that shaped the industry last year. In January 2023, Nigeria's oil production hit a one-year high of 1.3 million barrels per day. It further rose by 3.83% in February to 1.34 million barrels per day. No doubt, the federal government's initiatives to improve security in the Niger Delta was crucial to the realization of this level of production. In May 2023, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited took yet another giant step towards achieving its mandate of growing Nigeria's oil and gas reserves, following the re-entry into the Wadi B oil drilling site in Jere local government area of Burono State, which also signified the resumption of oil drilling campaign in the Lake Chad Basin. With a depth of 14,000 feet, the well has high potential of oil reservoirs and is estimated to yield over 943 million barrels of crude. The sporting ceremony was an exceptional moment for Nigeria and particularly the host community as it aroused vistas of successful oil and gas prospecting in the Lake Chad Basin and by extension, the intensification of inland basins exploration nationwide. This is a process. This process has value. And this value will be created for everyone, particularly for our people in this place. We are happy and we are very confident of the capacity of our team and I must single them out this moment to say that, you know, I we're proud of our G&G scientists uh, in our company. Uh, they have done well. They have found oil where others practically run away. And today we lead this uh, regime of knowledge of the tectonic basin in our country and across Africa. Oil prospecting, possible discovery and exploration in this part of the country will no doubt create job opportunities to thousands of our youths thereby reducing unemployment in our state, which in turn entails reduction in the insurgency, stimulating economic growth and development of our dear state and nation in general. A major development that reverberated around the Nigerian economy and the petroleum industry was the announcement of the removal of subsidy on premium motor spirit, also known as petrol, by President Bola Tinubu during his inauguration. The move was described as an unprecedented display of political will by the president. Reacting to the move, the group CEO, NNPC Limited, Milikiari, said the continued subsidy on petrol was no longer sustainable 
and had become inimical to the survival of the Nigerian National Oil Company and Nigeria's long-term economic benefits. Speaking while addressing management and staff in a town hall meeting, the GCEO noted that although the NNPC Limited was solely responsible for bringing in products into the country, the company no longer has the resources to sustain that. We took down all fiscal obligation taxes, royalties of our business, yet there's a balance of over 2.8 trillion naira that the federation can't give us, so they don't have the money. And once you keep eating your cash flow, it gets to a point where you have nice results, but you don't have a cash flow. Once you don't have a cash flow, you cannot meet your obligation to your partners, contractors, and perhaps ultimately, we, can't, we may not even pay your salary. So stopping this subsidy is a matter of survival for us as a company. Gas development also took center stage during the year on the review. At the fourth Nigerian Oil and Gas Opportunity Fair in Yenagua, Bayelsa State, the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, disclosed that the company is focusing on gas. At the event, which was organized by the Nigeria Content Development and Monitoring Board, the GCEO said in collaboration with partners, NNPC Limited is working to develop critical gas infrastructure and expand gas footprints towards addressing the nation's gas to power aspirations. This industry must focus on gas. And that's what we are doing. And that's where we expect all our partners to join us so that we can expand the gas footprint in our country the Bashafu will succeed in creating the industrialization that we're all looking forward to. But that means the only way this industry can become the catalyst and fuel for that is to build gas. And we're focused on domestic gas, as we also look for money from gas that can go to other countries. Secondly, everybody's talking about domestic uh, refining. You have seen what we are doing, so we don't talk about it. You know, it's no, we don't, we're not tired of lamenting. When we deliver, you will see. Mr. Kiari emphasized that there is a clear connection between energy and prosperity, and every conversation around climate change, energy transition, all boils down to providing a cleaner source of energy, adding that there is no country that has developed without energy, while assuring that the NNPC Limited and its partners would address the energy question by aggressively pursuing the federal government gas revolution, which is hinged on harnessing the nation's abundance gas resources. The conversation around harnessing and effectively utilizing Africa's abundant gas resources gained traction when a steering committee on the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline project was inaugurated on June 15, 2023. With the launch of the committee, a memorandum of understanding with four new countries was signed, adding to the growing number of African nations in expanding accessibility to the abundant energy resources in the region. The project, initiated by Nigeria through NNPC Limited and Morocco through its National Office on Hydrocarbons, Mines Exploration and Production, signed in the four new countries of Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Benin Republic and Republic of Guinea. Other African countries that earlier keyed into the project also witnessed the ceremony. Group CEO, NNPC Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, described the event as a clear demonstration of commitment of host governments, the ECOWAS Commission, and the national oil companies to deliver on the strategic project, create wealth and value for their countries and other stakeholders. African countries are determined to take their destinies into their hands. Uh, we need our energy deficient. Uh, this, this significant gas resources that is available in Nigeria, Senegal, Mauritania and a few other countries and will now be pulled together by this pipeline network to connect all of us, make energy available to all of us and also create prosperity in our various countries. This is really what it means. It's a really a pan-African uh, agenda for us to take advantage of the resources that is available to us. In August, another historic event took place in the energy sector when the first phase of Nigeria's Guagualada Independent Power Plant project got underway with a groundbreaking ceremony held under the patronage of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The groundbreaking ceremony, which was for the first phase of the project, 
will have a capacity of 350 megawatts to consist of one gas turbine and one steam turbine. The power plant situated in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, is a natural gas-fired power plant along the corridors of the Ajaokuta Kaduna Kanu AKK gas pipeline project. The president described the JEEP project as a bold statement of his administration to bring not only development to the nation, but also a step towards fulfilling the promise of providing clean and efficient energy to Nigerians. The 350 megawatts global other independent power plants face one of the entire project is extremely necessary and commended for the excellent work. The grand break is highly significant to the nation and is by the first bold step in this administration's constructed effort to establish a strong and variety energy sector that will drive the economy. Energy, I would say, is the most important discovery of humanity in the last 1,000 years. I hear that and encourage a team that is possible to do our job. The three-year project must be three years. The project will be delivered in collaboration with General Electric as the original equipment manufacturer and China Machinery and Engineering Corporation as the engineering procurement and construction contractor. The year ended on a positive note as the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, achieved the mechanical completion of the rehabilitation work on Area 5 plant of the Port Harcourt Refining Company in keeping with its pledge to get the refinery back on stream before the end of 2023. By mechanical completion, it means that the plant can now process hydrocarbons. Board members, management staff, EPC contractors, host community members and friends of the company gathered at the refinery complex to witness this historic event. For doing a great work and for keeping to the promise that we made to our shareholders, the over 200 million Nigerians. And we know that this is a promise that we can keep. We have a competent contractor and subcontractors. Our staff are extremely determined to deliver on this project. It's a matter of emotion for very many of our staff in this company, and that today it is promise fulfilled. We are done with the phase one. We will complete the phase two as we promised within 2024, maximum the last quarter of 2024, and this value will continue to be seen in our, in our country. And more importantly, for my colleagues in NMPs, particularly those of them on this beat, I'd like to thank you for, for your commitment and for your loyalty to the company. Chairman of the company's board, Chief Pius Akinyelure, described the achievement as historic and expressed pride in the staff and management of the refinery. He emphasized the goal of reaching the highest level of production to stabilize petroleum prices and generate more revenue for the country. We are particularly happy to be part of this historic event today. Doubts have been expressed by several Nigerians about the ability of NNPC to repair and make this facility available to support the distribution of wealth in the country. But today, I feel extremely happy. I wasn't expecting to see this. But we have to thank uh, our employees who are working at night, including the contractors, for their efforts. And we are looking forward to that day when this location, this refinery, will be producing at a level that will consume locally and that will be excess for uh, exports. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Oil, Senator Heineken Lukbobiri, and his gas counterpart, Ikberipu Ekbo, recognize the feat as a part of the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu, stressing that the restreaming of the refinery will impact positively on the supply and price of liquefied petroleum gas across the country since it is a major byproduct of the refinery. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has experienced an eventful year 
filled with significant achievements and notable milestones. The signed partnerships are production milestones, refinery, rehabilitation, and sustainable initiatives reflect NNPC's dedication to driving growth, innovation, and sustainability in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. Time now to bring you our weekly update on the gains recorded by NNPC Limited and the war against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism. It's past midnight on Thursday, January the 11th, 2024, and a vessel has been spotted stealing crude oil from an oil jacket offshore in Bielsa State. This infrared footage shows the thieves on board in full operation. At approximately 2.28 a.m. on January 11, 2024, Tantita Security Services, in collaboration with the NSCDC, swooped in and intercepted the 3,500-ton capacity MT Cali vessel while loading directly from an offshore platform in Bielsa State. It had loaded over 200,000 litres of crude oil when it was uh, apprehended. This one is ongoing, its chief yes. engineer on board promised Eze in a telephone conversation with the captain at Tantita Security Services said their operation was carried out in collaboration with some community members. Who was the person who lose the jacket for you people to connect holes? There are some community guys okay, some community guys in Bielsa. Yes, sir. yes sir. They are the ones who came to lose the jacket and then you connect hose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preliminary investigations from NMPC Limited's maritime intelligence system reveals that the vessel switched off its automatic identification system since the 8th of July 2021, making it invincible to maritime intelligence systems. The vessel has been conducting dark activities within the Nigerian maritime domain since then, engaging in several illegal ship-to-ship -ship operations, five identity changes, and several port calls within the Nigerian maritime environment in the past one year. The vessel, which sailed in from Lagos a few days before it was apprehended, operates mostly within crude oil wells, oil platforms, and installations, particularly around the Niger Delta region. It had 12 crew members on board. The vessel is currently in the custody of government security agencies undergoing further investigation. Between the 6th and 12th of January 2024, 211 incidences were reported. Seven cases of vandalism were recorded, including this wellhead at Umwajuloke community in River State. In Oweri, an active wellhead is adorned with several illegal connections. Nine cases of oil spills were recorded in the past week as well, mostly caused by vandalism. In Ogbenbiri Bayelsa State, 
this area has been ruined by oil spills. 83 illegal connections were spotted in River State, Abia, Imo and Bayelsa State. In Abia State, a drone shot shows pockets of illegal refineries in Owaza, while illegal connections were uncovered in Olodiama, Bayelsa and Obuzo in Abia State. Five illegal storage sites were found in Central Boma and Koko Camp in Bayelsa State, while sacks of crude oil were found in Iba River State and the content confiscated. 60 wooden and fiber boats were also apprehended in Wari, Akwaibon, Delta and River State. Eight of these incidents took place in the deep blue water, 54 in the western region, 81 in the central region and 68 in the eastern region. In the past week, 22 suspects were arrested. This slide gives a geographical representation of incidences on the 12th of January 2024. For NNPC Limited, there is no backing down on the war on crude oil theft until the menace is eradicated for good. To report crude oil theft or suspicious activities within your area, call the numbers on your screen now or send an email to report at stopcrudetheft.com. Handsome rewards await the whistleblower. Do your part. Report oil theft today. And that's the show today. Thanks for staying with us. Let's do this again same time next week. If you missed any part of this episode or previous ones, you can catch up by scanning the QR code on your screen now. Remember to also follow us on all our social media handles showing on your screen to get updates of events in Nigeria's energy sector and other activities of NNPC Limited. I'm Egusa Bye for now.